In this video, you're going to learn how to read the meniscus. Most liquids, when confined to a vessel, will form a concave surface. This means that the liquid will be higher on the outer edges of the vessel than they will be in the center. This is called the meniscus. It's formed because the molecules interact with the glass and cling onto the outside of the vessel. The meniscus is more pronounced in narrower vessels. This can be seen by comparing the graduated cylinder and the beaker. The curve is more obvious for the graduated cylinder. Because the meniscus can be seen in vessels such as burettes and pipettes where accurate volumes need to be known, you need to learn how to properly read it. The first step in reading the meniscus properly is bringing it to your eye level. You don't want to raise the vessel to your eye because this can tilt the vessel. Instead, you should lower yourself to the vessel. This reduces error when making your measurements. As you can see, the volume appears to change when you view it from above or below eye level. Once you have the meniscus at eye level, you should always read it from the lowest point. If you do this every time, you'll have consistent results. To make it easier to view, you can use a white card with a black stripe on it called a burette card. Line up the bottom of the meniscus with the top of the black line to make your meniscus sharper. By using this trick, you can now easily see that there are 7.90 milliliters of solution in this graduated cylinder. Reading the meniscus can sometimes be tricky, but if you keep practicing, you'll master it in no time.